What up, YouTube? It's Misery's Company. In today's video, I want to cover something that I should have covered in yesterday's video, but I just realized it. I want to make sure I bring it to you as soon as possible, and that is this right now. So we covered in our one of our videos yesterday, we covered like what, three videos yesterday, which is kind of insane for the channel. But anyway, so um, we covered that there's new Inferno difficulties four, five and six coming out and they are unlocked after beating the Sky Sunderer or whatever on Inferno three and you have to be at least Paragon level 110. Well, guess what I found out? Similar to the last major update when we got uh, the new Inferno difficulties, um, it wasn't in the patch notes and it's not in the patch notes now but we will be boosted up to Paragon level 1,100. What does that mean? We can immediately start farming the uh, Inferno difficulty four right away, starting Thursday. So even though I think server Paragon for most people is like 1,060, I believe, I could be wrong. Um, I think that sounds right. Yeah, 1,600 or 1,060 is the current Paragon server Paragon level. They're going to boost us all up to be able to unlock the Inferno difficulty four, which means there's a lot of stuff that you could be doing right now to be able to get ready for that. So one of the many things that you need to be doing is hoarding as much material as you can. I already talked about in my previous videos that I have been saving up gold and platinum. You're going to notice that I have a substantial amount of platinum compared to what I normally have. Believe it or not. In fact, let's see if I can actually see it in my history um isn't there a history where is it sales so if we look at my my histories i actually pulled off stream off recording a four out of five chip of the stone flesh and i sold it for 163k i ran a 10 crest rift with only one sellable legendary crest which i got from the week last week you know your normal like after you do your inferno or after your hello query raids you get to buy the one for 1600 platinum did that and ran nine of the non um sellable ones and lo and behold i literally got the only one i could have got that i could have sold is chip of the stone flesh and it's four to five and i sold it immediately um because i knew that i want to get ready for the brand new event coming which or not event but all the new um pets coming so that way I can buy with platinum if I want to so I have a substantial amount of platinum compared to what I normally have but that is why so other things you could be doing outside of hoarding resources is saving resources as well so I have some of these mystery legendary items I'm saving I was going to use them whenever I go to my next class which was I don't really know what I'm going to be next actually it's a video for a different time but I did want to make sure I use these on a new one but now that we know that Inferno Hell difficulty or I'm sorry Inferno difficulty 4 is coming I'm going to just save these for Inferno difficulty 4 that means I can just have a jump start on legendary gear for that Inferno difficulty maybe even like some of the new ones and then here I'm also going to be saving saving all of my Inferno Fabled Wisp 3 so I can turn them into Inferno Fabled Wisp 4 I'm sure it's going to be at like a 7 to 1 ratio so as of right now I can only do 2 which is not good so I will be grinding that even more um, other things you could be doing to get ready is saving your normal gems uh, because we will have two more additional slots available to us, which is going to mean we have to farm for additional um, set gear as well as we will have more normal uh, gem slots available to us to be get even more higher secondary stats. So make sure you're ready for that. All of these little things will help min max you and get ready for the patch that comes out literally tomorrow, guys. I, I can't believe it comes out tomorrow. I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, so that's everything that I'm doing right now to get ready. So I'm going to be doing all of my farming for my normal gems. I'm going to be doing, uh, I'm saving again, all of my legendary crest because we have new legendary gems coming out, which I will cover in a very, very soon video. Also run all of your rare crests now, but don't use any of your resources. Go ahead and hoard all of your AST runes as well as the dust that you get. I never can find it on here. Um, it's in there somewhere. But the, the dust that you can use to then get more AST runes, do that so that way you, when it's time to get the new two piece, the, or if the two star legendary gem or the one star legendary gem, you can get it on day one. I plan on getting the two star legendary gem because I think it's gonna be really, really good. The one that does additional crit damage or additional damage when you do crit rates, because it's gonna, it's gonna tether really, really well with Mother's Lament, which already gives us a pretty fantastic amount of uh, crit chance. So. Awesome stuff there, guys. I am so excited for the new patch. Hopefully you guys are as well, but these are everything that I'm doing to get ready. I'm running, I'm saving this stuff. I'm saving my gold, saving my platinum, farming everything that I can. Um, you could even fish if you wanted to, to get a little bit of a head start. I would recommend only saving your mystic or uh, mythic fish. That way you get additional XP. Cause again, everyone is be going to be going up to 1,100. And last but not least, you do want to make sure that you are not doing what I did and go ahead and save all of your, your, <coughs> your claimables here in the, 
uh, codex because then when we are boosted up you can then use that to get a little bit farther ahead and get even better legendary gear for yourself so and then the last but not least thing that i want to encourage everyone is to stop running your dungeons yeah i want you to stop running your dungeons because tomorrow this is going to be three out of three and i will uh, this right here will be three out of three and that means when we get to infernal difficulty four i will be able to run what three six nine dungeons and guarantee myself three pieces of inferno four set gear on day one which is a massive head start so because unfortunately you can't pre-farm inferno four because it's not here yet but as soon as it does come out since we can jump straight to it this will guarantee me the opportunity of getting a ton of set gear really really quickly what you're going to want again because we're getting two additional new slots right down here so make sure you are taking this advice today you only have basically 24 hours from the time you see this video in order to prepare so let me know what you're most excited about I, I i totally forgot they did this last time and then when i saw it and heard about it i was like yeah crap we needed to be doing stuff now so i made sure i made a video and hopefully that you found this helpful until next time guys lock it in i will see you tomorrow and later today with so many more videos there's so much to cover and I could not wait to cover all of it for you guys. Make sure you're along for the journey. Subscribe so you're here with me. And until next time, guys, lock it in.